Jack Grealish to Man United is a transfer story that is gathering pace and Grealish has certainly been in the news plenty over the last week because of that car incident. So what I'm going to do in this video is run through the full story of Grealish to United. Looking back at when the reports first began, how they've developed across the season, running through that car incident in full in terms of what happened and when, and looking at the latest reports in the press from the Times and whether or not that car incident affects his potential move to United. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Let's talk about Grealish to United. When looking at the Grealish to United reports, it first started back last year when he had a fantastic season with Aston Villa in the Championship and he capped that by beating Derby and captaining Aston Villa to do so in the playoff final at Wembley where he had a fantastic performance and United at that point our name was being banded around. We were linked with Dan James at the same time. We went after Dan James. Grealish, he stayed with Villa and he continued his career progress with Villa this season. You know, Villa in a relegation battle. Grealish shouldn't really be standing out on the level that he is, but he did so much that Gareth Southgate came around sniffing and Grealish was being linked with a call up to the full senior England squad. He really was shining in what is a distinctly average Aston Villa team. But as far as United and Grealish goes, it was his performance at Old Trafford in that two-all draw and that fantastic individual goal he scored, an overall impressive performance that got United fans looking at Jack Grealish. And at that point, the rumours really started to begin in earnest and he continued his progress over the season. As the season went on, after that game in December, and he was still shining, bright in a very distinctly average Villa team, which is a testament to how much quality he has and that he's above that level at Villa. But then the Grealish story took a little bit of a twist in the last week with everything that's happened during the lockdown. Now, if you don't know what's properly happened with Jack Grealish, I'm going to run through it and run through the dates with you as well. On the 28th of March, with the UK in lockdown because of the coronavirus, Jack Grealish posted this video on his Twitter account, urging everybody to stay at home. To help save lives, you must stay at home. Only leave your house to buy food, to buy medicine or to exercise. And always remember to stay at least two metres apart. This is urgent. Protect the NHS. Stay home. Save lives. But then only a few hours later, Grealish left his house, went to his friend's house, allegedly for a party, and then drove home early in the morning, crashing into multiple parked vehicles. All over the news, pictures of Grealish there, in slippers at the side of the road, damage to multiple vehicles. It wasn't a good sight whatsoever. And the next day, Jack Grealish released this apology on Twitter, saying he was embarrassed by the whole incident. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to do a quick video message just to say how deeply embarrassed I am by about what has happened this weekend. Um, I know it's a tough time for everyone at the moment, been locked indoors for so long and I obviously just got a call off a friend um, asking to go around to his uh, and I stupidly agreed to do so. Um, I don't want anyone to make the same mistake that I did so I obviously urge everyone to stay at home and, and follow the rules and the guidelines of what we've been asked to do. Um, I know for a fact that I'll be doing that in the near future now and obviously like I said I urge everyone to do the same. Um, I hope everyone can accept my apology and uh, we can move on from this and hopefully obviously in the near future we can all be out enjoying ourselves again um, once this is all um, boiled over. So cheers guys and thank you. Then the day after that Grealish was fined £150,000 by Aston Villa with I think that money going to charity. But the whole incident rightly saw a massive backlash towards Grealish with the UK in lockdown during these unprecedented times with the coronavirus shutting so much of the world down. Irresponsibly, Grealish decided to go out, go to a friend's house, have a good time a day after telling everybody not to do that. So in terms of being a role model, it couldn't have been any, it's, it's the worst decision he could have made. It was an absolutely idiotic decision, which clearly will be a stain on his career. But it hasn't stopped the reports linking United with a move for Grealish. If you look in the Times with Paul Joyce, somebody very respected and with a strong reputation, 
saying that Jack Grealish is expected to join Manchester United this summer to add competition to the midfield for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, which will be music to the ears of United fans because we need more than one signing in most positions, really. We need the sort of, the sort of quality in depth that Man City do. And that's something that we just don't have. So adding someone like Jadon Sancho in as our main target and adding someone like Jack Grealish in to increase the competition would be fantastic. But it all leads to the big question here. After everything that's happened in terms of how the Grealish to United story has developed and what he's done in the last week, do you think what's happened with Grealish, with that video, with going out during the lockdown and that apology, is that enough to stop United going for him? Do you think that signing Grealish would then be going against the sort of character and personality that Solskjaer is trying to bring in to implement this cultural reset at United? Or was it just a mistake and a stain on Jack Grealish's career that he shouldn't be defined by? Because if you look at lots of players over history, they've made plenty of mistakes and United have had plenty of them. So what I really want to know from you in the comments where you stand on Grealish to United because the reports haven't got quiet since that incident. If anything, they've got a bit stronger with Paul Joyce in the Times saying that he's expected to move to United this summer. And nobody is really going to question Jack Grealish's quality. He's got the sort of confidence and arrogance and ability to make things happen on the pitch where other players can't. Certainly a special individual. But should United go after him or should United step away because of what happened with this incident and focus on other targets? Maybe that's the moral question that you've got to ask yourself and, and how important you think that is for United and for Solskjaer in terms of the signings that we make this summer and the reasons why we do sign players or don't sign players. Because in terms of ability alone and the confidence and the arrogance that he's got, Grealish would be a fantastic signing for United. It's just whether you think there may be things off the pitch that would affect him too much. And I want to know where you stand on that. But as far as the full story of Grealish goes, it dates back to last year when he was doing really good things with Aston Villa in the Championship and the playoff final and his continued progress through this season in the Premier League and that performance against United. Then you've got the incident, but the reports haven't gone away. As I said, they've got a little bit stronger. Let me know what you think about Grealish to United. Is it a player that United should go after or is it a player that United should now avoid going after and look at different targets. Let me know where you stand in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you haven't already. And as I've said in every video so far, make sure you listen to the government's advice. Stay indoors, stay safe, save lives and help the NHS.